Mr. Lopez, you testified that you came into this elite circle after the murder and started to hang out more with people in that circle. Did you know if anybody in that circle was selling drugs? Yes. Who? I knew Killer T was selling drugs. I knew the guy was selling drugs. That was basically it. Focusing on Killer T, after the murder, when you first started hanging out with them, what was he selling? He was selling weed. How did you learn he was selling weed? He asked me if he made me an offer on some pounds of weed, but I told him I didn't sell weed, so I couldn't really do nothing with it. Before the murder, had Killer T ever offered to sell you drugs? No. Had you talked to him before the murder? No. What about the God? What was he selling? I had got an ounce of crack from the God. Do you know anything else about his drug sales? I just knew he was selling crack. Turning back to your sales of crack cocaine, did there come a time when you stopped selling at Castle Hill? I had went away for a parole violation in 2012, and that's around when I stopped. What do you mean by went away? I went upstate to prison. What was your parole violation? I had a DWI, and I was out past my curfew, and I failed to report to my parole officer. What did you fail to report to your parole officer? I just didn't. I didn't show up at parole. Had you reported your DWI to your parole officer? No. Why not? Because I knew that he was going to send me back to jail. How long were you incarcerated on that parole violation? From September 2012 to January 2013. Now, when you returned from prison in January of 2013, did you return to drug dealing? Yes. After you got out of prison, where were you dealing drugs? I started going upstate. What do you mean by upstate? I was going to upstate New York, Messina, to sell heroin and crack and coke. How did you get involved in taking heroin, crack, and coke upstate to Messina? I met somebody in Castle Hill who was known up there, and I told him I wanted to go, and he told me if I could get a car, I could go. Who did you meet in Castle Hill? G-Baby. Who is G-Baby? He was somebody from Castle Hill neighborhood. He wasn't sex money. He was, I think, Gorilla Stone. That's another blood set. At that time, did sex money murder have any rivalry with the Gorilla Stone? Not really, but there was always a little static between the two. How did you know where to go upstate? He showed me. Who did you go with the first time you went? I brought OP with me. So it was me, OP, and G-Baby. Is this the same OP you testified about earlier? Yes. How did OP get involved? He had a good license so he could drive. And I knew he had been out of town before. And I looked to him like a good brother at the time. So I trusted him to come with me out of town. And we all went. So to be clear, did you talk to him about going out of town? Yes. Did you ask him to go? Yes. Why did you ask him? I trusted him at the time. Why did you want to start taking drugs upstate? To get more money upstate. Why could you get more money upstate? The value is worth more. What do you mean? A gram of coke or crack upstate is like $150, a hundred. And in the city it's about 40, 35. Where were you selling drugs when you got to Messina? out of addicts' houses. How did you find those addicts? G-Baby already knew them. He had been out there before, and he introduced me to them. Approximately what time frame did you go to Messina? I went up there the summer of 2013. About how many trips? I can't remember. Maybe about seven, seven times. How long would you stay in Messina when you went there? Weeks, sometimes a couple days. What determined the length of time you stayed? When I finished my drugs. What do you mean by when I finished my drugs? When I sold everything. Now focusing on your first trip to Messina, what quantities of drugs did you bring up there? I used to bring, my first time I went with about five grams of crack and five bundles of heroin. What is a bundle? A bundle is 10 bags of dope. And when you say dope, what are you referring to? Heroin. 
How much heroin is in a bundle? About two and a half grams. Now, when you brought the crack cocaine upstate, was it cooked or in powder form? It was cooked. Do you know who cooked it? The person, whoever I was buying it from at the time. Who were you buying it from? The first time I went upstate, I had to get it from Bounce. All right, let's talk about the second trip. Who did you go with that time? OP. Anybody else? No. Why didn't G-Baby come? I'm sorry, G-Baby did come with me the second time. How much did you bring upstate when you went the second time? I brought about 25 grams of crack, or 10 grams of crack, and 10 bundles of heroin. Was the crack cooked? Yes. What about OP? Did he bring any drugs? Yes. Do you know what he brought? He brought the same thing. I'm sorry. Going back to the first trip, did OP bring drugs on that trip? Yes. Do you know what he brought on that trip? The same thing. He brought crack. Did he bring heroin? I can't remember that time. Now looking past those first two trips, how much did you bring on the later trips generally? I started bringing 100 grams of coke, 100 bundles of heroin each time. Why did you start bringing more? I started making more money. And why did that enable you to bring more drugs? I was able to buy more drugs. Now you testified earlier that the crack you brought up was cooked. Was it always cooked? No. If it wasn't cooked, what would you do with it when you got there? I would cook it up there. How did you learn to cook crack? OP showed me. Where did you cook it? In attics houses. Now did OP go on every trip with you? Yes. What about G-Baby? After a couple trips, we just started going on our own and G-Baby sometimes would come or he would come without us and meet us up there. Would anybody else join you and OP on the trip? I bring girls with me. What girls? My wife and me before. I brought Maxine with me. I brought this girl named Shay. Who is your wife? Were you married at the time? No. Why did she bring drugs upstate with you? I used to tell her to hold it for me. Did you ever talk to Brown about your drug sales in Messina? Yes. What did you discuss? I told him I was going out of town and making money up there. Did you tell him what you were selling? Yes. Did you tell him how often you were going? He knew because we was always talking to each other. How were you talking? We would call or text each other. What makes you say he knew? He would ask me where I'm at, and I would tell him I'm not around, I'm out of town. Would he comment on your drug sales in Messina? He would just say, you're making a lot of money up there. And what did you understand that to mean? Nothing specific. He was just saying I was making money. Did Brown ever ask you for money from your drug sales? Sometimes. What would he say? He would be like, let me hold something. What does that mean? Let me borrow some money. Would you give him money? Sometimes, yes. About how much? Not much. Probably I might go out to the club and spend some money, you know, or try to give him a hundred, fifty dollars. And why would you give him money? Because we was cool, we was close, and I just gave him money. And I believe you said you went out to the clubs. Yeah. Who paid when you went out to the clubs? I used to pay. Why would you pay? because I knew he wasn't hustling at the time, selling drugs at the time, so I would just pay for everything. Did he ever say he wanted you to pay? Sometimes he would say, come on, let's go out, and we go out. Would he ever make those comments after you got back from Messina? Yeah. So what sorts of things did he say after he knew you got back from Messina? He would say, I know you got it. You just came back from out of town. What we doing tonight? or something like that. And when he said, I know you got it, what did you understand that to mean? He knew I had some money. Did you ever have a conversation with D.O. about your trips to Messina? Yes. How did that come up? He was going to Monticello at the time. How do you know that? He told me. 
Where is Monticello? It's a little town in upstate New York. So what did you discuss with D.O.? That he could come where I'm at and we could go back and forth from Monticello to Messina? Do you know why he was going to Monticello? He was selling crack up there. How do you know that? I was there. When did you go to Monticello? I went around last summer, summertime. Which year is this approximately? 2013. Did you go to Monticello alone or with somebody else? I went with somebody else. Who did you go with? I went with Hocus. Who is Hocus? He's another blazer from the neighborhood. Do you know his full name? Mr. Lopez, I'm going to show you what has been marked as Government Exhibit 609. Do you recognize this photograph? Yes. Who is in this photograph? Hocus. Is that a fair and accurate depiction of Hocus? Yes. Your Honor, the government offers Government Exhibit 609, as well as 609A and B, which are the nameplates. No objection. Received. And we will now publish them to the board. Mr. Lopez, what was Hocus's status in sex money murder at the time? He was one of the big homies. How do you know that? That's what he was saying. Why did you go to Monticello with Hocus? He was driving up there to go see Dio, and I just went for the ride. Do you know why he was going to see Dio? No. Where did you go when you got to Monticello? We went to some housing complex up there. Where in the housing complex? Some apartment. It was some other sex money people from up there. His name was Dom, something like that. Was it Dom's apartment? I think it was his or his grandmother's apartment. Who was there when you got there? Dio was there, Dom was there. What did you see when you got there? I seen crack, I seen money. Where was the crack? on top of the table. What did it look like? It was in sandwich bags, bagged up. Could you tell how much there was there? No. Do you know how many sandwich bags? No, it was just some sandwich bags on top of the table. I believe you said there was money there too. What did it look like? It was like money stacked in some rubber bands. About how many stacks? I can't remember. What happened when you got to the apartment? I went down and went to the apartment, said what's up, we chilled for a few minutes, and we left. What did you see when you got to the apartment? I seen Dio give Hocus some money. What did the money look like that Dio gave Hocus? It was in rubber bands. Was it one stack or more than one? I can't remember. Do you know why Dio gave Hocus money? No.